So is the UK ready for the GDPR and does the Brexit affect it in any way? I think UK business are as prepared as they can be for the GDPR. Small businesses are struggling, larger businesses not. We have a whole um, set of guidance and helpline for small businesses. We get over 3,000 calls a week. So we certainly are trying to help small business. And where do you see the biggest challenges maybe as well for the organizations? For the GDPR, the biggest challenges, I think, are going to be in acknowledging that there is a lot of work still to do. I think um, subject access requests are going to be really important, so businesses have to be ready for individuals exercising their rights. But the most important aspect of GDPR is accountability. Businesses and organizations have to account for the way they're managing data. And I think bringing that into law is critically important and it's going to make the most difference for consumers and citizens. And yeah, what will change for the users or for the consumers? What is the big difference coming up for us? I think, I think they all just have more rights to get access to their data. Consent will be a clearer and a higher threshold. And also the regulators who have their back who are monitoring companies are going to be able to have stronger tools and sanctions in their toolboxes. And yeah, with the Brexit and uh, the affection of it, uh, does the GDPR change by, for you by the Brexit by any chance? The UK government has committed to fully transpose the GDPR into domestic law, so the UK citizens and consumers will have that same high standard when the UK leaves the EU. I think that's really important. The question is going to be what is the role of the ICO, the regulator in the UK, and whether there is um, an appropriate role on the European Data Protection Board. That's one for the negotiations. So there's 11 days left. What's the last steps to do then for you maybe as well? Public education. We've spent at the ICO most of the last two years educating organizations about what their responsibilities are under the law. Now we're turning with a campaign for the public called Your Data Matters. So we have a lot of materials, education, we have a fingerprint family to be able to tell stories for the individual so that they understand the law is changing and what their rights are. And what would your advice be for data protection officers, for example, what's there to do now? There's, this is just the, the end of the beginning, so it's really important that there be evergreen processes. Now that um, data protection officers have the attention of their boards, they can do a lot more to embed privacy by design into services and into new technologies. I look forward to working with them. And what would you say is the um, value of a conference like this concerning maybe topics like the GDPR as well? This conference is um, full of experts speaking about high-level topics and I think having regulators and leading data protection officers and legal counsel all together in a smallish conference to be able to communicate is really important. So I'm, I'm thrilled to have the opportunity to be here. Thank you very much.